gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, another StreamYard edition of Glorious Deliciousness. What are we about to imbibe? We're about to imbibe from beer from Hot Butcher for the World. And this beer comes courtesy of Hot Butcher for the World. And they're out of Chicago, Illinois. And this is their Galaxy Bowl. So this is an all-galaxy hopped double India Pale Ale. Coming in at 7.5 ABV. Ew. Uh, that's a gorgeous beautiful. looking label. That thing is beautiful. Uh, I, date. Um, I have a green mark. I got a yellow mark. So. Oh, okay. So our beers are different marks. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah that's all I got. So I'm sure it's pretty fresh. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is. Never had this one. Really excited to have it. Yeah, I'm excited to have a new Whoa. new hot butcher beer. Whoa, that is. Oh, that's it. Looks. That's. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm not gonna. I gotta leave some room for that. I, I was trying, but the head just exploded. Uh, wow, off man. This hashtag proper glassware. That is like super, just like opaque and just. That is thick. <laughs> thick, milky. <laughs> oh yeah. Just, Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Was it the, the milky orange juice? Uh, I mean, this looks heavy. It does. It looks. For 7.5, this thing looks so. <laughs> it, can... it looks like hot milk. It's hot milk. Yeah. yeah. But it, do, it does it not look like it's just going to be saturated with Galaxy Hops. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a whip on this bad boy. All right. Oh boy, that's some uh, that is some bright, fruity, tropical juice. I'm gonna try smelling the can too. A little bit of a uh, yeah, a little bit of slight vegetal note in the background. Oh boy! So out of the can, I'm getting like a like a creamy. Like uh, oatmeal with okay. chunks of pineapple in it. Yeah, okay. It's like, you know, you make your instant oatmeal and you get with the fruits. Yeah, yeah. I think that's spot on. That's really good. <laughs> it smells delicious. All right, let's, uh, let's get a... Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Hot Butcher. Thanks to uh, Hot Butcher. body yeah that is thick and creamy uh hashtag proper glassware by the way oh big time it's, it's only enhancing this beer it's I mean, okay, just so, kind of like this is good that's um oh. candied it's candied but yet you still get that weedy odie thing mm-hmm but like really a huge amount of like a, just like it's like a, a super saturated like pineapple. I want to say pineapple right off the bat, but I'm trying to like debate um, if it's like a cooked down pineapple mm -hmm. or if it's like fresh. I, I want to say it's more cooked down like and like you've used sugar to make like a. Mm, okay. Uh, syrup or something, you know what I mean? Mm, okay. There's definitely a really nice, like, kind of dank, piney bitterness that is way in the back of the palate. It's it's just kind of hanging out in the back of your throat, not sliding down the back of your tongue yet. But like, it's mm. it's giving a little bit of a dryness to those like juicy tropical notes um and I, there's a slight hint of like bubble gum in there as well and like especially with like the 
little sugar on top of it, your little confectionery sugar or whatever. Now, mouthfeel, medium. Yeah, medium. I'm getting a lot of carbonation. What about you? Yeah, I was gonna say a decent amount of carbonation breaking right. all this up. Yeah, and like it, it's definitely creamy, but there's a good amount of carbonation that like it. It looks like it's just going to be a, a thick, smoothie kind of beer, but there's a nice bit of carbonation. I like it. It does, it leaves this like syrup. It's like it's like after you drink Sprite. <laughs> yeah, like my my lips are sticky. <laughs> I mean, there's like a nice orange in there too. I guess. Yeah. I think the pineapple is definitely uh that's front and center. It's just it's candy. It, it's candy pineapple. Let me see if I can fit the rest in or uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Because uh, you know there's gonna be probably yeah, chunks of pineapple the at the bottom. Beers. Remember back in the day when we first started getting hot butcher? <laughs> like the beer would change halfway because you'd pour the rest out and be like, oh the beer just changed. All of a sudden, we're dumping chunks out, going, "Wow, what was that? All the flavor!" All right, I got the rest in there. So a oh, tail of two beers. Beer. That's it. it. It's a picturesque beer, though. It really is. Oh, absolutely. Um, I don't know if it's coming beer. out as well on camera, but this beer is exactly as you said, picturesque. Yeah, I think I'm getting more like. I mean, yours looks. Yours comes off warmer. I'm coming off cooler, but I think it's. It's good still, beverage. it's got to be the same thing. It's, it's fantastic. The head is that hot butcher, creamy, thick head, swirls up really nice. Wow. It's like Dole Whip. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if we know anything about beer. Dan, if, if Dole Whip is a tasting note, I'm in. Right peach. Okay. I guess I could get that a little bit. Right, yeah, I can see peach. Sweet pineapple. Yep. yep. Spot uh, on. <laughs> and Spot juicy on. passion fruit. I never would have guessed passion fruit. <laughs> no, because you, you want to know why? Because for me, passion fruit comes off so tart and just kind of like it's so juicy, but it's very puckering. Whereas I, I'm not getting that puckering here. But okay. if I get into it, if I like take like passion fruit, but I add like a pound and a half of sugar to it, I can see it. <laughs> okay. I, as, as I'm drinking it now that we have the whole can in there, it burped up a little. I'm starting to get some like, like nondescript vine berry notes coming up. I, I got to tell you, it's a lot of beer. This drinks like it should be a like high double, maybe a low triple kind of beer. I'm this tired. is a hefty beer. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm physically yeah. tired of drinking this beer. My mouth is just like. That's it. You're good. This particular examination is just wiped you out. It's over. It's just, this is something that I, I think this kills your palate. I think so too. I still like, I can't believe it's only a seven and a half. I know. That's insane. Like to get this kind of impact out of that lower of an ABV for what this is, man. There's this uh, decent amount of uh, zippy kind of bitterness on the back end. I think I'd want more, though. Okay. I, you know what I want? You know what I, You know what I think it's missing? I'd like some complexity within the malt. Okay. I feel like it's a very one-two punch, and that's it. While delicious, I just – the sweetness is it, – it's – I don't know. It's It's – a little bit too much, I think. Yeah, because I, I think that's what we're getting at saying this thing drinks more like a triple, where it's like I, I would like it to be knocked down and drink more closer to the ABV than it is. Cause like we said, this this thing is just it's exhausting to drink. Not that it's not good, but it's exhausting. All right. What do you rate it? I will give it Oh boy. I'll get a four even. Hmm. 
struggling over there. <laughs> Sip. Thing. I'll give it a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get roasted for this. I know I am. Ah, uh, I'll give it a three nine. I knew you were gonna give it a three nine. I was gonna give it a high three nine, but I was like, I'll round it up to four. It, it's a delicious beer. It is. It is. It, it's it's a nice hazy. But god damn, this thing is just so sweet. Oh like, yeah, it's really starting to settle in now too. Like I don't even. They say I don't know if it's lactose in here or what, but I don't know. It, it's almost too confectionery. That's what it is. It's too confectionery. It's a like confectionery sugar. Mm-hmm. It's not just like sweetness. I don't know. Like I've I've had uh, off camera. I told Mike I drank a triple citra daydream today, and mm-hmm. that's a sweet beer. It's a triple, but like the citra had like this nice dank vegetal funk to it. And I think maybe that's what I'm kind of missing out of here with the galaxy. I I kind of want some you know grassiness and. Uh, a little bit more uh, to break it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah balance um, out the beer a little more. Yeah. I, I can agree with that. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, God, it's so, I feel like there's a layer on my tongue. On yeah. the top of my tongue. It's like this <laughs> layer there's a of fill. sweetness that just won't go away. <laughs> this is one impactful beer. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. All right, gang. Uh, until next time, uh, down below. Um, yeah, link, link trees. trees, all that good stuff. Yeah. You, you know where it is at this point. So yeah, thanks again, Hot Butcher. We really appreciate it. All right. Well, cheers. cheers.